Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 5 training part eight. In this training module, we're gonna take a look at working with our template applicator feature. This is gonna allow us to create really quick base maps using data that we can export from another file and then import into the existing file we're working with. We're gonna have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our template applicator feature for our VCM editor software. Now the template applicator feature allows you to export data from one calibration file and import it into another calibration file. This is really handy and saves you a lot of time if you're gonna be doing a lot of the same kind of redundant type of tuning on let's say Camaro or Corvette. So if you have a shop and you're gonna be developing a cam package and uh, a bunch of other modifications, bolt-on modifications that'll support that cam package such as intake header and exhaust. And you're gonna be trying to do a lot of that package on multiple different cars. You can take the data that you've spent the time calibrating and perfecting from one car, the tune car, and bring that into another stock equivalent PCM from another stock equivalent car that you're putting all the same mods on. It'll save you 80 to 90% of the calibration work, saving you a lot of time. When you're a professional tuner, this will definitely get you more efficient. It'll make you more money. And this is the feature, even if you're not a professional tuner, that you want to get used to using. So let's go in and take a look at how we can work with the template applicator feature. There's going to be two parts of the template applicator. There's going to be the applicator, which actually imports the data into a new calibration file. So let's say we have a stock equivalent file. We've uh, exported data out, and then we're going to bring it in the template applicator found under edit template applicator. This is going to be what brings the data into a file. What we want to do is first go and export data out of a file that we've dialed in. So in this case, I have a 2015 Chevy Silverado that has some engine changes, uh, some engine calibration changes, and some transmission calibration changes. And we can use a template applicator feature to bring those changes into the new stock equivalent file. So let's first go in and essentially export the data out of this file. Then we'll open up a stock equivalent and we'll import it in. Look at this process here. So in order to do the export process, we're gonna go here to tools and go into our template editor. The template editor is where we actually export the data under edit, template applicator, that's where we import the data. Let's go back here to tools. Under tools, template editor, we're gonna jump into our window here. We have the ability to go in here and click on this icon, which is gonna be a new file. New file is gonna start the file for the exporting that we're gonna export into. We also have this other open file. If we have existing files in our template editor feature here, we can find I have some Mustang files here. This is going to allow us to edit these specific files. Now in this case, we're dealing with a GM Gen 5. We're not doing anything with Ford Mustangs. So let's go in here and open up a new file. So if I click here, new file, that's gonna allow me to now start to populate some information. So in this case, we find that we have a filter parameters list. This is gonna display the parameters that we're gonna be exporting and doing specific filtering based on uh, things like if it's an engine change, airflow change, or transmission control change, we can see how it's gonna be listed here in a drop down menu. What we need to do is actually start to take a look at that data. If we go here, we can find that we have select parameters to import. We also have import parameters from template. And then we have our feature here, import unsafe parameters. I usually just jump in here and go to select parameters to import. What this is gonna do is allow me to pick out the specific tables that I've made my changes into. In this case, we can break this down very specific tables that we wanna import, or we can just import a huge block of a whole section of changes. So for example, if I wanted to bring everything in from this tune folder here, this tune file that I've made for my transmission control and I'm bringing it into another 2015 Chevy Silverado, I could just jump into transmission and go and populate all of the transmission tables. Or I could be more specific with this, I could start to narrow this down. So under transmission here in our window or the uh, side pane, it's gonna start to give us more options into these subfolders. If I go into something like our shift pressures, we can find that we can keep going down here and start to uh, break this down into individual tables. So this would be the equivalent table here. So upshift pattern X under shift pressures. I could just import this specific table if that's the only thing I wanted to import or alternative to that, I could go in here and I could import and just check on the transmission a, a section, the whole subsection for transmission control. So I would go in and click on every single table to import. That'll allow me to overwrite a complete TCU transmission control change from one file to another. So you really have to decide if you want to be specific of what you're importing or you want to go in and have just a general 
overview type of a change. So in this case, because I'm going from a 2015, uh, 2015. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.